So in this short video, we're going to look at how we use the binomial cumulative distribution function, or better known as the tables at the back of the book, to answer questions to do with the binomial distribution. So we're told that x is distributed binomially uh, with 40 trials and a success rate in each individual trial of 0.45. So the first question is to find the probability that x is less than 20. So it's important to realise then that the binomial distribution is discrete, so this basically means that we've got to be less than or equal to 19. We can't be equal to 20, so we've got to be less than or equal to 19. So if we go to our tables, and I've taken an extract um, from, the, um, from the back of our books, um, then less than or equal to 19 is 0 0.6844. So we can answer that question directly. The answer is 0 0.6844. Eight four four. A possible error would have been to have uh, looked up 20 against 40 and 0 0.45. I'll just show you once again. I've extracted the uh, n is 40, p is 0.45, and I come down the correct column. It's important that I move down to the 19 and not the 20, as the tables give me less than or equal to values. Second question says find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 16. Now, as the tables give less than values, then this will be the same as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 15. OK, I'll just show you a little bit. Probably that we're greater than or equal to 16 it requires P6, P16 plus P17 all the way up to P40. But we can only do, we know all the probabilities will add up to 1. So if we take away all the probabilities before it, OK, all the way down to P0. So we're going to subtract P15 to P0 from 1. So if I look up uh, 15 with my 40 and my 0 0.45, so I come across to 15 and we're on 0.2142. So the answer will be 1 minus 0 0.2142. And that will equal 0.7858 is our answer. Well, that's um, two brief examples on how to use your cumulative distribution function for the binomial distribution.